I'm a born hunter and outdoorsman with a relentless passion for nature. I told myself that if I ever had the opportunity to have my own outdoor show, I would show the things and people we don't traditionally see and that I would be the example for other outdoorsmen to follow. There's a whole different world out there when it comes to the outdoors that people never see. Welcome to the other side. Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV is brought to you by individual donors like you and Third Good Boots. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. I want to take a second to send all American veterans a happy Veterans Day salute. The Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Coast Guard, and the Marine Corps. I also want to send a special shout out to the 82nd Airborne Division, 2nd Infantry Division, and the 1st Cavalry Division out of Fort Hood, Texas. These are the divisional units that I served with during my time in the Army. I have two combat tours with the 1st Cavalry Division, one to Iraq and one to Afghanistan. But on this week's episode, we're down in Comanche, Texas doing a youth hunt, and I guarantee y'all that you will see something that you have never seen before on outdoor television. We have a young man and we have a young woman out enjoying a hunt together, shooting their first deer together, having fun together. So let's cut to this hunt we did down in Comanche, Texas. I have a television show and I want to try to cover this youth hunt on that show for next season. So. Uh, at some point this evening, I'll switch up with somebody with a rotate, but I want to be able to get Jeff and, and his dad on, on camera, you know, shooting a deer or a hole or whatever, and then tomorrow morning, I'll go out with, uh, you know, either, either or, but, you know, the next day, go out with uh, David and, and Anastasia, who would also go by Adam. So, uh, hope everybody have fun. This is the fourth year that we've done this hunt down here, and I've lost count off the top of my head of how many animals were shot, but it's normally a good hunt. Uh, for those of you all who are attending the hunt this year, if you all, as you're doing this and having fun, go out, I mean, be thinking about who you can go out and talk to about coming to do this hunt next year. This is a one and done kind of deal. It's like an introductory type of hunt. But for those of you all who have friends or other people, uh, then, you know, just, you know, let them know about the hunt. And after the hunt, you'll be able to tell them all kind of few old stories about how great it was, how fun it was, and why they should come next year. So, okay, any questions? After going over the rules for the weekend's hunt, the game warden put out pertinent information on the antler restriction. In Texas, deer have to meet a certain antler restriction. Deer deer has to then, after getting a good night's sleep, we were up in the morning, spring. ready for the morning hunt. Chris has been with me on these hunts for the last three years, and he always brings a lot of excitement to the, to the hunt. And he and Robert both have been instrumental in helping me with these hunts that we do down there in Texas. Razor, my Chesapeake Bay Retriever, was left at the lodge during the hunt, and he wasn't happy about it one bit. As we headed out for the morning hunt, we drove out, uh, got in some good blinds, and I think Jeff saw two deer over where they were. Um, I was with Jeff during the morning hunt, and then uh, Anna and her dad and Chris was over on another side of the um, property, hunting out of blind, and they didn't see anything. So after that, we came back and did an interview. All right, so we get ready for the evening uh, youth hunt. This morning, our two hunters, Jeffrey and Anastasia, also known as Anna, uh, went out for a hunt and they didn't see anything. I think they, Jeff, y'all saw two does yes. this morning. Uh, y'all didn't see anything? That's pretty much it. Okay, birds. all right, just birds. Well, uh, this evening, as most of you all know, uh, this evening or any evening time is a good time for deer to start moving. So y'all are out here for hogs and for deer. So uh, I'm wishing y'all the best. What caliber are you shooting? I'm shooting a 308. And what about you? I see. 6.5 Cremo. Right, right. Now last year, Anna's sister, Lala, the girl who is in the opening segment of the show, uh, with the show's introduction, she came out and she harvested a nice doe. So uh, this year, you may be able to shoot, you know, a few animals because you can shoot a hog, as many as you see. Okay. You can shoot a, uh, a one deer during this sitting. And then uh, tomorrow morning, y'all do the same thing, shoot a hog, as many hogs as you see, 
or a deer. So I wish y'all luck. And uh, this is both y'all first time hunting, right? Yes. Or is it? Well, your yeah. first time, but have you shot? Yeah, any? pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. You haven't shot anything? No. You've been hunting, but you haven't shot I've, anything. I've been hunting, but I haven't shot anything. Okay, no. okay. Well, hey, this youth hunt that, that we run is uh, the perfect opportunity. So good luck Thank and you. make a good shot. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'll be in the blind with Jeff and his uh, father. Uh, getting some good footage of the animal that he shot, that he shoot, and then tomorrow I'll be in the morning with you and your daddy. Okay. Uh, hopefully getting some good footage on the air. So good luck. You look camouflaged to the teeth, <laughs> like your sister did last year. And me and uh, Jeff got on jeans and stuff. So, all right, let's see how the even hunt goes. All right. Trivia question. What is the maximum age to still be considered a youth hunter? Thoroughgood has been trusted by tradespeople and hardworking Americans since 1892, an employee-owned company with two manufacturing facilities in Wisconsin. Thoroughgood has over 125 styles of handcrafted American-made footwear. Our focus is job-fitted footwear for the trades, public safety workers, military, and hunters. Thoroughgood's job-fitted boots are built to get the job done. Visit ThoroughgoodUSA.com to find a dealer near you. And trust Thoroughgood to take you through your life's pursuit. Trivia question. What is the maximum age to still be considered a youth hunter? Answer, C. In most states, hunters 17 years and younger are considered youth, while those over the age of 17 are considered an adult. But be sure to check your state regulations as to who is considered a youth hunter and is required to have a license. As we settled in for the evening hunt, it didn't take long before the deer to come to the feeder. Texas is one of those states where you can actually use a feeder for deer hunting and that's used to help pattern the deer and to help, you know, get the deer coming out to the field regularly. It's very, very good for a youth hunt as deer are guaranteed to show up. I told him that that was a shot. His dad gave him a thumbs up since, he, since Jeff was home with earplugs and Jeff let it rip. Perfect shot with that 308. His daddy was herding him up to reload the gun, but there was no need. That was a fatal shot. Anna was out on the other part of the property and she was dropping those with that 6.5 like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed at the killing power of that 6.5 Creedmoor. I'll admit that I wasn't sold on it, but after watching her drop that jib with one shot and seeing the massive damage internally that that bullet done, I'm kind of impressed. Jeff and his dad went out to find a blood trail and it was a blood trail that Stevie Wonder could follow. And it wasn't long before Jeff had actually found his deer. Okay, congratulations, Jeff, on your first deer. Turn around and smile at all of America and let America see um, you know, that you got your first deer. Uh, when you approach a deer, this deer is dead. I'm looking at a hole, the exit wound on this deer's side is about this big around. Part of our liver is here in the, in the briar patch. But uh, when you approach a deer, you want to make sure you approach it from the back, just in case. It's obvious though that she's dead. So you want to make sure that, uh, you know, in the event that she wasn't dead, you want to watch for the rise and fall of a chest, uh, make sure that the deer is dead. A lot of people have been hurt approaching an animal that's down, but, um, you know, not really dead. So. Congratulations again. Thank Let's you. get her back and try to get you a haul before the sunset. Okay. Well, let me ask you this question. Turn around and face the camera. Right. How do you feel about your first deer? I feel really good about it. It's great. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's get her back to the blind and we'll try to get another one, a haul or something before uh, before it gets too dark. Our ride was just on time. As it came to pick us up, I gave Jeff a quick field dressing class on how to field dress a deer. After that, it was back to the camp. So, we are back from the evening hunt with Anna and Jeff. And look what y'all got. Y'all got Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> so, both of y'all just had y'all first successful hunt, shot your first deer. So, Anna, what did, what did you think about it? Um, I think it was cool. I mean, it was a lot of patience, but um, the patience turns into good and successful uh, shot. 
Okay, so so that's good. Your first deer ever. First time yes. hunting anything, right? Yes, sir. Other than the targets at the range when we do it. Jeff, what about you? You made a perfect shot at 308. So what do you think about the first hunt? I loved it. Even though I just sat there in silence for a good couple hours, it was just great and totally worth it. There you go, there you go. And you made a perfect shot. I mean, it was it was perfect. Uh, you did too, because yours went straight down with that yes. spine shot. So this is the way we like to introduce people to hunting. Um, you know, perhaps when you get older, um, you know, you will hunt more. And then once you get a, to be an adult and have a family of your own, you'll introduce your kids to um, to hunting. And you will show your kids how to gut this deer we about to gut. <laughs> <laughs> so, so congratulations to both of y'all. And we're going to go out and do it again in the morning. Okay. All right. Maybe. All Hopefully. Right. <laughs> The next morning I was out in the blind with Anna and her dad David. We sat there from about sun up until about 10 o'clock and the only thing we saw was a nice buck but he was way out past the uh, feeder so didn't even get a shot at him and after not seeing anything we decided to call it a hunt. So here we are with the Sheffields. We have Jeff and we have Brad Sheffield. Uh, we just finished up the youth hunt. Um, how do you think this weekend go? We didn't, you didn't get anything on this hunt. Anna didn't either. It's ironic that both of y'all shot your first deer together. I <laughs> uh, have never shot anything before. Shot your first deer on the same hunt and didn't see anything the next day of the hunt together. So what do you think <laughs> about this weekend? How do you think it went? I think it went pretty good for my first hunt. I mean, you got a deer and that's pretty much what you're going for and what right. you expect. Right, okay, okay. And like I, I said yesterday, you made that excellent shot at 308. And I, I was sitting out there with Anna recording her hunt, but I was saying, you know what? I got faith in Jeff over there. Wherever he is, <laughs> he's over there with that 308 ready to, to lay the smack down. So, yeah, so uh, what do you think about it, uh, Brett? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity to be able to, you know, bring your son or daughter mm -hmm. out here on a youth hunt and mm -hmm. for them to have that opportunity to take their first animal, right. whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's awesome that we have these opportunities for the youth yep. nowadays yep. so they can learn about hunting and yep. continue on with the tradition. Mm -hmm. Jeff, thank you. Congratulations thank you. again on laying <laughs> that dough down. And Brad, I'm, thank you again for yes, coming sir. out. Yes, sir. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate it yeah, very it much. Good to have you all out. Thank you yeah, again. Okay, so here we are with David Pollard and his daughter Anastasia Pollard. As I mentioned earlier, also known as Anna because she goes by Anna. So, uh, Anna, what do you think about the hunt overall? I think uh, it was really amazing. Uh, it was a great experience, first time experience hunting and learning how to shoot a deer and gut the deer. That's right, we did yes. gut the deer. We had some little, give you a science class. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a frog, we used a deer, something you can actually eat. Yeah. You can't eat one of those pickled frogs that y'all eat <laughs> in class, but you can eat that deer that we, yeah, exactly. that we feel dressed. Exactly. Uh, but, but you got one deer. I was hoping we would get more, but uh, just turned out you got one. But you definitely made a great shot. Dropped the deer where she stood in her tracks with that 6.5 creep hole. And so um, that, that's very good. Uh, David, what do you think about the hunt with your daughter? Oh man, uh, priceless. Simply priceless. Uh, I, I thank you again, you know, for your your leadership, uh, Mr. Chris, I think Mr. Robert. You know, correct uh, your team and uh, for you know just championing these efforts and uh, things that uh, I know as a kid I was never exposed to. Uh, I don't even think it existed, so. It is this uh, Well, it's, 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 it's just one of those things you don't know, you right. Right. You don't so, know right. right, you don't right. know, and, uh, and again, you know, just to uh, afford the opportunity for youth, uh, uh, just diversity here, uh, you know, culturally, uh, gender, yeah. you know. Yeah. Glad to have a girl out, yeah. just yeah. like girls yeah. do hunt, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right, girls that's hunt. Right. Girls that's rock right. and they hunt, so right. yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get kids coming out to these events, you know, a lot of times, I've always said that parents are a child's biggest obstacle when it comes to hunting, uh, particularly in the minority community. A lot of times kids will want to go out and hunt, but a lot of times their parents will try to talk them out of it. And uh, I, I hate that when it happens because it's, it's preventing kids from having a good opportunity. Because I'm sure that you're going to go back and tell your friends, you know, about how great your hunt was this yes. weekend. And so that's great, you know, so it's important to have supportive parents who will, you know, Accept the challenge and have the you know bring their kids to events like these versus trying to tell them no we don't hunt or no you shouldn't do this you know that's that's just stupid so I'm glad y'all had a good time. Uh, what, what would you tell your friends who may be saying ooh Anna you hunted ooh you, that's nasty? <laughs> what would you tell your friends about hunting? Um, I would tell my friends that it's a really exciting sport. I mean it takes a lot of patience and time 
and uh, it's not really a hard thing to do uh, and it's a really cool way to get out there and uh, learn something new. Right, right, that's good. Both of your daughters, David, have got their deer. They courtesy of the youth hunt that yes, we put together. Yes, so I'm, I'm proud of them and I'm glad they enjoyed it. So yes. thank you, Anastasia, for Thank coming you out. You did for good. Inviting us. Yeah, no problem. Thank, Thank you, David. Yeah. All right. Man, to the parents, yeah, it's well worth the sacrifice. I mean, a couple of days ago, I was fighting the flu, and honestly, I uh, was contemplating not coming because I just wasn't feeling well, and, and um, things were going on. Um, but it's, it's, it's well worth the sacrifice, and I, and I promise you, the exposure that you give your kids is, is just something bigger than Xbox, bigger than PlayStation, yeah. and uh, it's, well, it's well worth your sacrifice as a parent. So, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, we have just finished up the youth hunt uh, with uh, Chris Parham and Robert Ramirez. And uh, I want to thank both of you all for your help in mentoring this hunt. I, what do you all think about this weekend's hunt and all the other youth hunts that we've done together? Um, for the three years that I've been here, this one is, uh, all the hunts are excellent. Um, they're great. I love seeing the kids' expression on their faces when they harvest an animal. What about you, Robert? Well, I think it, more importantly, it, it shows uh, the parent, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, that, that the kids are actually interested in this. They are. They are. And so we actually, being able to take the, the parent out in the blind with a child, right. Right. you know, they can actually see what it's really all about. Mm -hmm. you know? I enjoy watching a child shoot an animal more than I enjoy shooting one myself. And I think that sentiment, that sentiment is shared by all of us. Mm -hmm. We do that. But uh, yeah, I want to thank y'all. Robert, I got something for you. I know you probably miss your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I've had this since 2015, well, thank but I you, want to return it back to its rightful owner. Well, thank you, and I know it got some use because uh, you I told me. I, I used it once, yeah, but yeah. I hung it up on the wall, and I hung it up so long on the wall that I thought it was part of my collection. So <laughs> I said, well, this is not mine. I want to give this not, back to Robert. Not, but, not a problem. Like yeah, I but, I, but I want to thank you, Chris. For, uh, for helping coming out to help Robert, it's been a pleasure, mm -hmm. and we'll do it again next yes. year. We're gonna try to uh, fill the blinds uh, with kids, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're gonna make up for some unshot animals from this hunt. But oh, yeah. uh, we, 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 we go redemption. That's right, redemption. There you go. All right, so you thank you all for coming out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't let him borrow. You won't get it for another six years. <laughs> Thoroughgood has been trusted by tradespeople and hardworking Americans since 1892, an employee-owned company with two manufacturing facilities in Wisconsin. Thoroughgood has over 125 styles of handcrafted American-made footwear. Our focus is job-fitted footwear for the trades, public safety workers, military, and hunters. Thoroughgood's job-fitted boots are built to get the job done. Visit ThoroughgoodUSA.com to find a dealer near you. And trust Thoroughgood to take you through your life's pursuits. You know, on this episode, I was going to talk about the shotgun, why it's unbeatable and why everyone should have one. But I, I decided to put something else in place of that. And I'll bring that shotgun episode or segment later on. But I decided to put something in that's very special, something that's going to touch your heart, something that, you know, is a proud moment. And I'll just quit talking because I can't even explain it. I'm just going to show you. Watch this. Kobe is a 20-year-old active outdoorsman who happens to have spina bifida. He loves to hunt and for the past two years, Tony has been taking him out in hopes of getting the deer. Last year, he had a close call and a near miss while shooting a crossbow at a deer, but this year he was out to gun hunt with a 7mm 08. Kobe assured us that if he got an opportunity, he was going to drop that deer. After getting the gun set up on the special mount, Kobe took over and started aiming to make sure that he could cover all areas of the field just in case a deer decided to come out. Every 10 minutes or so, he would say, come on big boy, come on big boy, just waiting for that deer to step out. And just as the last bit of shooting light was fading away, two deer stepped out to the left. Kobe took aim and fired. He got him. Got him, buddy. 
Damn. You got him, buddy. Good job. Don't fall. Don't fall. You got him. You got him. Hi. You got him. You got him. <laughs> Finally got you one. You got might want to hit him again, though, because he's still kicking. That is great. Oh. Here they come with the bugs. Let's go. The oh, girls baby. are coming to see you, buddy. Got him. Got him. You got him. 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 <laughs> a little button, but he's legal. He's legal, it ain't broke that speed. There you go. Yeah! Yeah, boy. I better call you daddy. Oh, I will. Uh -uh. Are you about to put that over here? You might put it in the wax of the buggy. Oh, buddy. He, he's strutting. Oh, God, oh, watching me. <laughs> yeah. I'm yelling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, uh, successful hunt, Kobe, with your nice uh, unantlered, so your little <laughs> young button buck does not uh, shed his antlers yet or had his antlers come through. Uh, Tony, it's great what you're doing with uh, Kobe for this hunt. How long have you been home with Kobe? Uh, about two years. Uh, he, he went to prom with my daughter a few years ago, and we've been friends ever since, and he's <laughs> always a welcome guest here. I see. So, so you, how, how do you feel, Kobe, about your deer? Oh. Awesome. Oh. I heard that you dropped it where it stood, right? You dropped it like it was yes, hot. Sir. Yes, sir. And then you walked around like you was a boss. Yes, sir. <laughs> <You walked around. laughs> After you shot it. Yes, sir. So, 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 that's good. <laughs> that's good. Well, all right. Well, hey, congratulations. Let's go and get this thing skinned up so you can take it home to your family. Hey, congratulations. Yes, sir. Way to go, Kobe. All right. All right.